Aponatistic infection in HIV. What is an aponatistic infection? They are a group of disorders that are more often or more severe in people with weak immunity system than in people with healthy immunity system. But why do people with HIV are at risk for aponatistic infection? HIV damages the immune system. A weakened immune system makes it harder for the body to fight off aponatistic infections. Some of the most common opportunistic infections, including canadidias, salmonella, tuberculosis or TB, toxoplasmosis, coccidiomycosis, nemocystogervaciae pneumonia or PCB, histoplasmosis, toxoplasma, cryptococcus, mycobacterium, avium complex. Infection prevention. What are the measures that are taken for infection prevention? First, and most importantly, restoring the cellular immunity with ART or, it, or anterior retroviral therapy is the best way to prevent opportunistic infection. Second, a number of infections can be prevented by immunizations and vaccines. And third, avoiding exposure can prevent certain pathogens like avoiding cat feces or undercooked meat or STDs. And fourth, antimicrobial therapy. But among these, the most important in infection prevention by far is ART, as after the introduction of ART, death rates has dropped significantly. So when is the antimicrobial therapy is administered? The administration of antimicrobial therapy is with the goal of preventing a clinical significance. In one of these three scenarios, either to prevent an active infection in an uninfected person, like in PCB, or prevent an active infection pathogen that present in the body but dormant, like toxoplasmosis or tuberculosis, or asymptomatic immunocompromised person with positive antigen or serology for an infection like cryptococcus. So first, with antimicrobial therapy, for all CD4 counts, TB or tuberculosis, all HIV infected should be screened for latent TB regardless of the CD4 count. Screening using either interferon gamma release assay or tuberculin test. Therapy for latent TB should be administered INH plus pyridoxine. CD4 less than 250. Coccidiodemycosis. Annual IgG and IgM serological test for asymptomatic with CD4 less than 250. Fluconazole is administered with newly positive serology. Discontinued therapy in patients who is receiving ART and CD4 is more than 250 for at least 6 months. CD4 less than 200, Nemocystis gervaciae pneumonia or PCB. Bactrim is recommended to prevent PCB with CD4 less than 200. Other alternatives including Debussine and others. Discontinue therapy in patients who is receiving ART and CD4 is more than 200 for at least 3 months. CD4 less than 150, histoplasmosis. Prophylaxis is administered only in hyperendemic areas. We usually administer etrocanazole. Otherwise, prophylaxis is not recommended. Such cases, prophylaxis will be discontinued once the CD4 is above 150 for more than 6 months after the initiation of ART.
CD4 less than 100, Toxoplasma and Cryptococcus. Toxoplasma, Bactrim is administered to prevent reactivation of tegonide in positive IgG serology with CD4 less than 100. Discontinue therapy in patient who is receiving ART and CD4 is more than 200 for at least 3 months. And in cryptococcus, preventing therapy for cryptococcal disease is generally not recommended. And finally, CD4 less than 50, Microbacterium avium complex or MAC. For patients who are not on ART with CD4 less than 50, no prophylaxis is recommended. If there is a delay on ART and CD4 is less than 50, then prophylaxis should be initiated and continued until ART is started unless there is a concern that there is an active MAC. So as a conclusion, all HIV infected should be screened for latent TB regardless of the CD4 count. Annual IgG and IgM serological test for asymptomatic coccidiodomycosis with CD4 less than 250. Bactrim is recommended to prevent BCB with CD4 less than 200. Prophylaxis for histoplasmosis administered only in hyperendemic regions with CD4 less than 150. Bactrim administered to prevent reactivation of tegonite toxoplasmosis in positive IgG serology with CD4 less than 100. Preventive therapy for cryptococcal disease is generally not recommended. And finally, MAC with CD4 less than 50, no prophylaxis is recommended unless there is a delay in ART.